I got a few sales, I'm gonna put $5,000 into it. What is up guys, Daddy's here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something a lot of YouTubers don't, I don't really see talk about, um, but Facebook ads and basically like why you aren't getting conversions or even traffic um, in some cases, right? And there's a few key things that I wanna to touch on. I have my Mac here, I got my notes out for you guys, but basically huge, huge, huge outliers or factors that a lot of people don't, or a lot of people like stepping into the Facebook ad industry um, kind of aren't really aware of or they just aren't familiar with yet. And and you know, just not knowing some of this stuff is a huge, huge reason why is you know some people just don't really see uh, results with Facebook ads and they just give up. You know, because I know more than one of you guys watching this video has tested Facebook ads, has done some sort of campaign, ran an ad set, and either you know got traffic but no conversions, not even an ad to cart, or just ran ads and literally had nothing happen, um, which is a problem, right? So obviously, right. Um, Facebook isn't the issue. It's it's the ad that you're running, and it's more than just you know the the thing that customers see, right? It's basically there's a few key things that we want to touch on for you guys, um, and I'm gonna kind of go over basically just how to create basically a good testing campaign to just get your initial traction right off the door, right? So hold on, how many ads are you running, right? So if you currently are running you know Facebook ads, how many different um, ads or ad sets are are you running, right? Simultaneously, right? A lot of you guys for starting off, you only run one. Um, that's a huge mistake, okay? So, again, how many are you actually running? My my personal preference, right? There's a few th ways that you wanna do it, but um, just to start off, you can do three different ads, anywhere from 15 to $20 a day. Um, that's a good starting point. And then, um, you know, depending on your budget, right? If you can only afford, you know, $5 a day for your ads and stuff like that, like really guys, you, you probably shouldn't be testing ads quite yet. Um, just cause, just cause like, look, so if you're in the e-commerce space, right? There, there's, it's a numbers game, right? So I wanna actually tell you guys why you shouldn't be testing with $5 a day anymore. Um, basically, for you guys just, you know, testing um, and getting started with e-commerce, right? Your cost to get someone to purchase a product, right? Your cost per conversion, right? Might be anywhere from, I mean, it can be pretty low, it can be pretty expensive, but you know, it might be $6. Right, if you're selling, for example, say you're selling a $50 product, right? It could be six dollars, eight dollars, it could be three dollars, two dollars, it could be any number, right? But if you're only testing five dollars a day, there's no real way to kind of determine, hey, is this ad actually converting, right? Because if you're only testing five dollars a day and your actual conversion rate, right? Imagine if you had you know a $50 daily budget, right? Um, say for instance that conversion rate was $650, right? You wouldn't have found out with that five dollar uh, daily ad spend, right? So again, a good number for testing, right, is fifteen to twenty dollars a day, basically. Basically, after that first day, um, you can basically cut it after, um, after 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 that first day if you have no no sales, right? But if you walk out of that day with you know two or three sales, only spending fifteen twenty dollars, then you kind of know, hey, this could be a promising one. This might be something I want to scale, um, and then look into that, right? So again, how many ads are you running? You can like literally, you can start with three. I definitely would not have one or two, but three is a good number. Five is a good number. Um, if you can afford more, do more, right? Because again, experimenting is key. Because even when you find a good ad set, you want to actually decrease, you know, the, the cost per conversion, cost per click, cost per impression, whatever it is that you're targeting for, you want to decrease that. So again, experimentation is everything. So the more you can, the more you should. All right. Now, next one, what is your budget? I know I just went over this, but basically this is something that you guys need to get in your head, especially for you e-commerce dropshippers out there watching this. Basically, $15, $20 a day is a good setting point for daily ad spend per ad, okay? $5 a day is all right. Like you can get away with it, guys. But again, what I explained in the last scenario, that has a chance of happening just because um, a lot of you guys just starting off with Facebook ads, right? It's not like your ads are gonna be 100% completely optimized already after your first initial experiment, right? So I would assume that you're going to have higher cost per conversions than, you know, a few months down the line after you've been experimenting constantly, right? So again, $5 daily ad spend is a little bit iffy there. If you can do 15 or $20 a day, okay? Now, next, what is most important, right? I get a lot of you guys that reach out to me and um, ask me like, hey, why is my Facebook ad not converting? Why am I getting traffic but no ad to cart or conversions? Why is nothing happening, right? The first thing you guys show me though is your actual ad, is the picture, is the copy you guys use. That's the least important part of a Facebook ad, guys, okay? This is the thing. I would say roughly 50% of the actual kind of ad creation process is you're researching the audience, right? So your actual audience research, right? Figuring out who is actually going to buy or you know, like the, the, the type of person, the demographic, whatever it is, like who's actually buying your product, right? That is 50% of it, okay? And then I'd say 20% is actually like the funnel, the flow, like purchase flow, basically like, hey, how do they go from the ad to actually, you know, entering the credit card? That, that right there is fairly important. Um, and then it comes down to like tactics, basically. Um, I'll get into this um, in a second, but 
just like how you're competing against everyone else. Um, and then it comes down to your actual ad creation. Like that part guys, like yes, it's important, but it's not the most important thing. So when you guys are having trouble, don't look at your actual picture or copy first, guys. Most likely it's coming down to who you're actually showing that stuff to, okay? Because again, you can get away, because I've seen people, you know, use AliExpress pictures instead of, you know, good content and they can convert well with ads just because their targeting is really spot on. Um, and that allows them to just drill into who is actually going to want to purchase their product, right? So that's that. And again, guys, the thing, the last thing I want to like point out, right? Um, that a lot of people don't really understand. Basically, right, how people, how most people, like when you start Facebook ads, they, they kind of assume or think when they're getting into like, oh, I'm paying Facebook this much money because this is how much money I need to pay Facebook to get someone to buy my product, right? Um, that, that's kind of like their mentality, okay? But what's really going on, right, is you're competing against all your competition who's trying to target that same audience, okay? Or that same person who's gonna buy your product, right? That's what dictates basically the car, that, that's a huge factor in what dictates the cost of your results, okay? And so going from that, right, especially when you guys get into manual bidding, right, I'm gonna get into this, uh, or at least I'm gonna go a little bit in depth in this video, um, just a little bit. But basically guys, when you get into manual bidding and stuff, there's a reason, like when you're testing manual bidding, right, there's a reason you kinda wanna be on your laptop for that entire day that you're kinda testing the numbers. It's because, right, for instance, if, if you have automatic bidding on, right, it's you not necessarily have to worry about it too much, uh, at least to start off. But if you're manually bidding, trying to scale, right, so say for instance, you need to maximum like bid amount, right, to uh, like $10, or something right you need to keep increasing that and then basically when you stop seeing sales come in that's when you know you've hit like competition that might be kind of hard to explain to you guys um, it's a little tricky kind of just explain with words but basically what I'm trying to say is when you're manually bidding right you're increasing you know the actual amount that you personally are okay with Facebook using to try and get someone to buy your product okay and now say you have a like this, this is the problem with scaling right this might be why some of you guys have are having trouble scaling it's because Maybe you're on a, say for instance, you're on like $100 a day budget and it's on automatic bidding and then you switch it to manual bidding to try and you know, decrease uh, you know, your cost per convert, whatever it is, right? Or you're just trying to get more sales and like actually start scaling it up. When you guys change that manual bid value, like to the amount that you're okay with and stuff, you might see sales like trickling, 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 but then they might stop all of a sudden, okay? This might be an issue you guys run into down the road or might be an issue you guys already have run into. And basically what that means is that you've hit a competitor that's actually bidding you know, better than you or higher than you, okay? Which means that like you need to actually beat them. Like again, it's, it's more of like a, it's like tactical warfare in a way, right? You're competing against these competitors, trying to outbid them, guys. It's an auction. Facebook's like everything you're paying for is it's an auction, okay? Facebook is auctioning off us, these people using Facebook to these companies, okay? Whoever wants to pay more gets it, all right? That, that's basically the gist of it, okay? So, um, with that being said, guys, like with manual bidding, all that kind of stuff and scaling, that's why some people and like, that's why a lot of people will like try and preach to you guys like, hey, you don't wanna just scale like like that all the way up, right? Cause then again, your automatic bid price that could change and then boom, you might hit like a competitor who's outbidding you. And then even though you scaled your daily budget, your sales don't increase, all right? That's a problem, right? So that's why when you're scaling, you don't wanna scale, like you scale like, like steadily, okay? And repeatedly and kind of like in a structured flow instead of just saying, oh, this $10 a day budget, I got a few sales, I'm gonna put $5,000 into it. And you know, that, that I mean, again, it, it can work, but the thing is, you have a chance of not working and losing that five thousand dollars rather than you know steadily scaling ten dollars a day to fifty a day, fifty a day to hundred day, hundred day to two hundred day, two hundred day to four hundred day, like stuff like that, like steadily scaling, guys. That's kind of the key to it and kind of avoiding you know being um, caught up against you know these these competitors that are outbidding you on a lot of those products. Okay, guys. So again, that's like kind of like the fix that that I'm proposing for you guys who are having trouble with you know no conversions, no traffic, just with having trouble with Facebook ads in general, guys. Um, that's really the gist of it, right? So just to recap, right? How many ads are you running? Three to five is a good number. One or two is not that good, okay? And again, guys, in your targeting, right? When you're doing these ads, you don't wanna be having, you don't wanna be targeting like, like 10 different things for each ad, okay? The structure is like, it's like, keep it simple, but keep it specific. So you target like one specific like interest, okay? And again, I know it's easy to list down like 20 different interests and then, you know, have Facebook go crazy and you, you feel like you're doing, you know, um, some super complex in-depth stuff. But guys, the thing is you need to test. That's the whole point of what you're doing. You're not, again, trying to scale 
right from the beginning, right? Obviously that's your goal, that's your intention, but you need to see what's biting more. So again, as with these different ads and stuff, you just want to test different interests, see who's clicking, see what's working, okay? And then from there, you experiment more and more and more. Again, it's like it's like a it's like a, a family tree or something, right? So you start with three ads, okay? And then you see which ones work, you branch those out, you make another three over here and then there. And then you get what I mean, right? So again, it's a lot of experimentation and like a lot of targeting, okay guys? So that's that. And then what is your budget, guys? Again, 15 to 20 dollars a day is a decent, you know, budget to play with when you're experimenting if you can afford it. Again, if you can't really afford 15, 20 a day for three ad sets, like I feel like you guys should um, one, have another stream of income coming in so that you can afford it or, you know, run whatever you're doing currently to build up that money so you can test and experiment with that guys. Okay. Cause again, the money you're putting into these ads and testing, like expect to lose. Okay. Just don't, don't expect to actually get that back right away. Um, it's nice if you can, but just don't expect that. Okay. Now, Again, um, just recapping this for you guys, so you guys get it stuck in your head, because this stuff, like literally, one of you guys is gonna take this information and realize what you've been doing wrong, and then be able to scale and hit me up in a month saying, hey, I just did 40K a month. So that's what I'm trying to get into you guys, is like this stuff is super, super important. It might not seem crazy vital or important or you know, like 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 game changing, but it can be guys, because with Facebook, it's a lot of numbers, okay? It's numbers and targeting and your audience. That's, 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 that's what it comes down to ultimately, okay guys? So that's basically the video, guys. Just keep in mind, um, especially when you start getting sales with Facebook and whatnot, like when you're scaling, when you're like starting to do manual bidding, because I think that's the way to go um, to actually, you know, get get solid solid results. Um, but again, guys, that is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like. I respond to everybody's comments, guys. So don't forget to comment if you have questions or want to, you know, test this out and let everyone else know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're doing a video a day. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Keep a lookout for the zero to one k challenge, guys. That is a free program that me and my buddy Sebastian, another YouTuber, have partnered with to give you guys this stuff, guys. And again, hop in the course if you haven't already. That stuff is closing very soon. Um, that's that guys, but basically uh, keep a lookout for the videos to come and I hope you guys enjoy. I got a new setup, I got a new mic. Let me know if the quality sounds better if you're still watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.